Hello YouTubers, I want to do a quick informational video on, um, on Texas Star amplifiers and how the uh, stock fuse holders that come on them can go bad. Um, what I've got here on my desk with uh, my VOM hooked up to the ends. That is a, a stock fuse holder off of a Texas Star 250. The 350 uses the same thing. A number of other Texas Star amps use this too. This is the molded job. Um, the leads come into this blade fuse holder on each end, and this is all molded together. You know, you know that's how the connections are made inside. Well, they do go bad, and this one is most definitely bad. This came off of an old Killer B250 Texas Star that I've got sitting over here beside it. I'll, I'll probably show the face of it here in just a minute. I was having intermittent problems with this amp all the time. Uh, you know, sometimes I'd go to transmit and the relay would just chatter, just, just rapidly buzz. I mean, just horrible the rate of speed, you know, it would chatter at. And of course it was causing, you know, causing damage to the... Uh, to the contacts on the relay as well. There's a few times, you know, it did it and I had to realign realign the contacts because, you know, they they were literally bent just a little bit out of whack and not make you no know, touching good. And previous owners of this amp did not know what was wrong with it and had had the top off of the relay, you know, I guess clean because another problem is of course it was, you know, fouling the, the contacts out to where they needed to be uh, needed to be cleaned up and some people had done that that weren't real gentle with it so you know I've had to realign the legs of the contacts but I, I kept having this intermittent problem where it was doing that and it just act like it was starving for voltage and amperage sometimes and at other times you know most of the time it was okay well finally it, it got it got bad so you know, at first I was thinking something was wrong with the relay, but then the more I thought of it, it's like, I think something's wrong with the key circuit, you know, loss of voltage, you know, to the key transistor, something along that lines. But then I remembered reading posts online, people discussing about how these molded fuse holders and even the plastic panel mount types that used on the bigger Texas stars can go bad and cause problems. So I decided to get the old trusty VOM out on mine and, and, and see if it was any good or not. And sure enough, it's not. If you notice, I'm using these really tight jawed like test leads and I've got no continuity. It just says OL, but that's just it. And I'm on the 20K scale. I go, I just barely touched that thing, moved it and look, it's bouncing all over the place. Sometimes I can bend it just right Let's see if I can show that. So, that's full continuity, but most of the time, notice I'm bouncing around with different numbered readings. Most of the time it doesn't have full continuity. It has to be just right to have it. As I bend that, you know, readings are over the place and they're lost continuity altogether. And I've got these these leads are secured tight. That's not what's causing the loss of continuity. The fuse is good. It's this molding in here is bad. And I just wanted to, I wanted to show people, you know, that these do go bad. And even the, uh, and like I said, the plastic panel mounts that are actually have holes drilled in the back of the amp and mount, you know, in the chassis, are, are known to go bad and cause problems as well on the bigger Texas stars. Uh, just for a quick fix, I run mine off of that Astron, you know, power supply over there all the time. I wasn't real concerned about having an inline fuse. I'm going to, I'm going to add one eventually. I don't know if I'm going to add a nice stereo, you know, uh, higher end stereo inline or if I'm going to have one of the, the little blade, uh, well, I can't really think how to explain it, but you know, one that will sit inside and uses a glass, you know, type fuse to plug into, you know, some heavy contacts on each end. I'm going to use something. Right now, I'm using one of these. These are probably made in China. I mean, this is heavier gauge wire than what came on this amp. It also increased the output, you know, from the amp just a little bit. This is a molding too, and these, this is a quick disconnect deal, and these can go bad. I've had good luck with them. I've been using them for a while. But I'm fully aware if I start developing problems, I, I definitely will be checking these. And in the future, I'm probably going to go to something better. 
uh, I'm only running these on a couple of uh, smaller smaller transistorized amplifiers just just for convenience and I don't unplug and un unplug them up you know very often I I tend to run when it comes to smaller amps pretty much the same ones most of the time I don't do a lot of swapping so you know long term this is not probably the greatest thing for now it works okay but like I said I just wanted to make everybody aware you know of this issue there's the amp it's an oldie it's changed hands boy it's been owned by so many people I, I've known you know no know, or know really well but uh, anyways there you have it Bad molded fuse holders for Texas Stars. If you're having problems with your amp, not uh, not staying in transmit mode, relay chatter, and maybe it just doesn't work at all. You know, there's definitely other things it can be, but be sure you check these fuse, you know, these fuse holders out because they are definitely a problem. 73s, everybody. 262 operator Paul signing off.